Hello and welcome to Weed and Barley. This is a place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. If you are new to the channel, welcome. This is a place where we get to know God. We move in the things of the Holy Spirit, being obedient vessels, praise God. And we are striving to consecrate as much as we possibly can in this time praise god and when i say in this time it's the rest of our lives y'all hallelujah this is a lifetime journey of consecrating to the lord and being obedient in, in what he is calling us to do and i'm just so grateful to be chosen uh to even uh, navigate this platform to uh be the lead on this platform praise god hallelujah as human form but i know that the spirit of god is the head i know that the spirit of god is the director of me i know that the spirit of god instructs me praise god so i am not here on my own hallelujah i am here with the word from the lord to give unto you and i pray that you receive it today in jesus mighty name we are on day nine y'all it's the end of day nine congratulations to each and every one of you who've been eating healthy praise god consecrated to the lord praying and even navigating this realm of earth when you encounter things you are placing it back into god's hands praise god that happened to me today where i encountered something that was just so fleshly praise god but what i did was i rebuked <laughs> and then i gave it to god because you know when you put it in your own hands to try to for instance, retaliate or do a get back, praise God. You know, that that's your reward right there. Whatever comes of that, that's the reward, y'all. But I'm not about that life, praise God. Hallelujah. I'll just go ahead and give it to God, my Father, place it on back into his hands because that way I have left him room for vengeance, praise God. Do you understand? The Bible speaks of this. Hey, when you take it on your in your hands, you don't leave room for God. So I just give it right on back to him in the mighty name of Jesus. Let him deal with his children <laughs> on this earth. Hallelujah. Because he deals with me in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that you receive it in Jesus mighty name. So we are on verse 15 of uh, chapter 19 of Luke. And it reads, when he returned after receiving the kingdom, he ordered that these slaves to whom he had given the money be called to him so that he might know what business they had done. Praise God. So the title of this message is, what business have you done? What business have you conducted? Praise God. Hallelujah. So we need to examine ourselves. We need to look within to just find out what it is that we're actually doing for God. You know, did he call us to do what we're doing or did we call ourselves? Uh, you know, in the Bible right here in verse 15, it says they were called, those slaves were called to him. He did the calling. Some people are doing their own calling, their own bidding in this time, in this season. And then the people, the congregation, the ones who are receiving want to know where's the power. They want to know, hallelujah, where's the miracle? Where's the sign? Praise God. How long do I have to keep praying? But I'm telling you, when the Lord is in the midst, when Jesus is present, praise God, when the power of the Holy Spirit is there, there is no calling for anything, praise God, because it's already present. There is no waiting for a miracle because the miracle is done. There is no wondering about the sign, praise God, the sign is there, praise God, hallelujah. So I'm telling you right now, when God is in the midst, when he calls you, when he appoints you, praise God, it is already done in Jesus' mighty name. So you best believe and receive it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You will know the difference between those who are called and those who are calling themselves, praise God. And there are a lot of people in this hour who are calling themselves and they are mimicking what they see to be true because the true prophets, the true teachers, the true preachers, the true ministries, praise God, the true ones, hallelujah, who are waking up in businesses, financial uh, 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 advisors, praise God, who are moving forward in the kingdom of God, who are teaching others, mentoring others, praise God. Understand what I'm saying? You will know them by their fruit. Just check their fruit out. What are they producing in the mighty name of Jesus? You should see some production. You should see some fruit, praise God. It's just not about just speaking a good word of the Lord. He has work for us to do. Where's your fruit, praise God? Hallelujah. So this is what Jesus is saying to us, praise God. When we look at this scripture, we start to reflect on ourselves and we look at what is it? What business have we done? Let's look around. What business have we conducted of Jesus today? Do we have fruit to show for it, praise God? And if we don't, we got to get to work, y'all. We got to get to work because there's fruit. There's fruit. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, there's increase. There's elevation. Hallelujah. Every single thing that you do, praise God, for God is going to draw people. Understand, it's going to draw them in the mighty name of Jesus. And you're going to be increased because it is God doing it. 
It is God doing it. And it is a righteous increase because some people can have increase. You can see it, praise God, hallelujah, but it's not righteous. Hallelujah. That increase, hallelujah, it comes with a healthy price of damnation. Understand what I'm saying? It comes with a healthy price of damnation. They on that wide road and it looks like increase to you and it looks glamorous, praise God. It's all shiny, right? Hallelujah. That worldly shininess, you know, praise God, hallelujah, but it comes with a healthy price of damnation and we don't want that price tag, praise God. Jesus already paid the price for us. We have a free ticket to heaven, hallelujah. I got my ticket, praise God. I pray that you have yours in Jesus' mighty name. Let's go ahead. Hallelujah. And move into communion. And I pray that you receive this message today because it's a beautiful message to have us to reflect on what it is, what business of God are we conducting? Praise God. Hallelujah. So I have my cracker and I have my grape juice. Praise God. We're going to Luke uh, verse. Oh, we're not going to Luke. We're going to 1 Corinthians, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. So switch my cracker over into the other hand. Okay. So we're going to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, um, starting at verse 23. And it reads, the Lord's Supper. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, in the night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he break it, broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Verse 25, in the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord is an, in an unworthy manner, shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But a man must examine himself in, doing, in so doing, he is to eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks, eats and drinks judgment to himself if he does not judge the body rightly. For this reason, many among you are weak and sick and a number sleep. Excuse me for that reading, but I pray you received it in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is so good, and we just want to thank him for communion. Thank you, Father God, for communion. Thank you for going ahead and making a way for us, oh, Father God. Thank you for your love and your compassion, oh, Lord. Thank you for establishing our steps, oh, Lord. Thank you for covering us and protecting us, oh, Lord. Thank you for keeping our families, giving us a sound mind and able body, oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Allowing us to just live today. Allowing us to breathe your breath today. Hallelujah. We're so grateful, oh Lord God, that this is day nine. Hallelujah. And I pray that we're all about your business. I pray that we're doing what we are called to do in your kingdom, oh Father God. As you are calling us, hallelujah. As you are appointing us and placing us on the platforms, Lord God. In rightful positions, oh Father God. Hallelujah. As your military, as your warriors, oh Lord. Hallelujah. As your prayer warriors, oh Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who will stand like a Moses. Those who will go up like Joshua, those who will stand like a Joseph, hallelujah, those who will be bold like Isaac, praise God, those who will walk, hallelujah, like Abraham, hallelujah, those who will wait and travail later in life, Lord God, hallelujah, like Sarah, hallelujah, those who will stand, oh Father God, and just walk from here straight on into the kingdom of heaven like Enoch, praise God, hallelujah. I just pray that you keep us in our rightful position so that we can conquer and we can conduct ourselves as you have designed us in Jesus' mighty name. Wait, may we meet every single mission that you place before us. May we check off, check off that checklist, oh Lord God, that we have accomplished everything on the mission, hallelujah. Lord God, may we come under your order, oh Father God, and that we adhere to them in obedience, oh Father God, that nothing that will even stand in our way, Lord God, or attempt to stand in our way will prevail, hallelujah, for we will drive that thing right on out in the mighty name of Jesus, that we will trample over stakes and scorpions in boldness, hallelujah, that we will be confident in your word, oh Lord God, that we will move in your things, oh Lord God, hallelujah, with your armor on, knowing that you are with us, hallelujah, that every step you take, we step, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus, we will step where you step, oh Father God, for you are our 
shepherd. You are our leader. You are our master. Hallelujah. And we have nothing without you, but everything in you. Hallelujah. We're so grateful that you are here with us today, present in our lives, giving us directions. Hallelujah. And I pray that every single person who receives you stand up to your calling today in Jesus' mighty name. May we all be blessed in your word and favor. May we all be blessed. Hallelujah. And highly favored in the land. May everything that belongs to us be drawn to us by your word and your hand alone, O Lord God. May your hand rest on our shoulders today in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Because we need you, O Lord. We need you. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I pray that you receive this, you believe it, hallelujah, and know that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior, and he is with you. He has not left you. Every step that he's taken, praise God, I pray that you take in obedience in Jesus' mighty name, because wherever Jesus Christ is, that's where I want to be, hallelujah. And I'm telling you right now, the Holy Spirit is a witness of Jesus Christ. So wherever the Holy Spirit tells you to do, whatever it is that he tells you to do, wherever he tells you to go, just do it. Hallelujah. Because he is a witness of who? Jesus Christ. These are your instructions. So be obedient to the Holy Spirit because these instructions, hallelujah, are derived from heaven in Jesus' mighty name. I pray that you, re you receive it and believe it. Hallelujah. I guess I'm tired today, y'all. Be blessed in all your ways and pray for my strength in the mighty name of Jesus. This is day nine. I will see you tomorrow on day 10. Praise God. 6 a.m., y'all. Hallelujah. We're going to fast. We're going to eat healthy. We're going to uh, consecrate unto the Lord. We're going to pray, y'all. We're going to meditate on the word. Hallelujah. We're going to worship even. Praise God. But make sure you take time to listen to what the Holy Spirit is saying to you. In Jesus' mighty name, be blessed in all your ways. Love you with the love of Christ.